Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Cynthia and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, but this guy is special because this is the new um, glowy glow finish that they just came out with and today I'm going to be testing this out to see what the hype is all about but before we get started in this review video please make sure to subscribe down below for new videos every single week and without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into this review so the packaging looks like this and it's a little bit more of a chrome packaging to represent that it's the glow version of the Laura Mercier loose setting powder this is what it looks like it has this kind of chromatic finish to the lid so it's very apparent that it's going to give you luminosity so when you open it it has this like little lid and oh i hate these plastic things but ooh, i'm just going to tap a little bit onto my lid and it looks dark like this powder looks like my actual skin shade which is interesting because it's supposed to be like a translucent powder and usually translucent powder is very light so i tapped quite a bit of product on here so you can really see it it has this kind of like honey peachy color to it just like the becca um luminous setting powder so already i feel like it's very dark for it being a translucent powder so let's go ahead and give it a swatch it feels really smooth just like the original formula and when you swatch it this is the moment of truth right here oh my god <laughs> this is like a highlight right like it's very very luminous so i'm wondering how it's going to set my under eye area with this type of luminosity like this looks like an actual powder highlight a loose powder highlight like if i were to build it up with the second layer like yeah the intensity is very bold so that's what it looks like with a second layer right there again it's very luminous it's a beautiful finish but i'm just wondering if it'll do its job in terms of setting the makeup so let's try it on i already applied my foundation and my controlled elements in this whole experiment were the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I am a light beige in the Born This Way foundation and I am using vanilla to highlight my under eye area in the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to dip my Sigma F35 brush in here and I like this um, for the under eye because it has a perfect domed shape and I feel like it fits perfectly in the under eye area and let's go ahead and go for it i'm excited i'm gonna start outward and then work my way in okay let me tell you this looks like a highlight like i don't know if you can see it through the camera but this whole area right here is just it's beautiful it just looks so illuminated that being said i do feel like it did set my under eye area the light is just catching the luminosity of it when i move around so let's go ahead and set the under eye and then we're going to continue to set my whole face with this powder i mean so far i feel very indecisive about this finish but let's keep going and see what happens i am now going to use my sigma large powder brush f20 which looks like that and i'm just going to go ahead and dip it in so let's go ahead and go for it and just pat some powder down all right so i definitely feel like again the um, loose setting powder did set my foundation and i mean looking at the camera right here i see a lot of luminosity happening it it is very beautiful but i don't know if that's exactly what i look for in a loose setting powder when i am trying to set my makeup i feel like a loose setting powder should set my makeup and then i can continue on with my powder highlight and then just kind of like go in with my highlight you know what i mean um it's a beautiful finish but again i i don't know i don't know if it's something i would reach out for over my original laura mercier loose setting powder or say my cover effects loose setting powder like those are two of my favorite for sure well let's go ahead and finish this complexion dip our brush in the powder and then set the rest of the face
All right, well, so far I feel very illuminated um, in terms of the overall finish of my complexion. As you can see here, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do my highlighting and my bronzing and then I'm going to set my whole face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm going to be using Saddle by Anastasia, which is my go-to. And I'm just going to pat it down. So I'm done bronzing now and I'm going to continue to highlight using my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Illuminating Powder in the shade O2. And I'm going to be using that same Sigma F35 brush. I literally use this for everything. Highlighting, setting my under eye area. It's just a really, really awesome brush. That is so beautiful. I feel like this particular highlight really complements the finish of the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder Glow. The new Laura Mercier Glow Powder definitely has um, a gold undertone to it, so I am really wondering how this would look on somebody that's more of like a cool undertone or a neutral undertone. Like, would this powder make that type of person look very gold, very yellow almost? And I am a warm tone person. I have a lot of olive, a lot of um, ivory in my skin so I feel like my undertone really complements this um, powder. I would find it very very interesting to see somebody with a different undertone try this um, loose setting powder on. So that's just a little side note, something to think about. So now that I'm done highlighting and bronzing my face, I am going to attempt to bake with this new powder and to do that I'm going to be using my Sigma F56 brush and it has this really nice shape to it. It's actually a brush meant for um, baking the face so it'll do, a, it does a perfect job at kind of like lying really nice and flat against the face. Gonna dip, 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 dip. And I want to make sure that the brush is completely covered just like that. And we are going to go for it. I'm doing the second layer of the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder to attempt to bake the face. So I feel like this is not going to give me the same effect as a matte loose setting powder would if I wanted to do some baking. Like, I don't know if you can see, but like the luminosity of this powder is real. Like, mm, let's try, let's brush it off. I'm gonna brush away this excess. Okay, not bad. So after I wiped away the excess powder, I feel like I feel like my face does look set, like the powder did set my makeup. Um, again, I feel like I I never thought that I would say this, but I feel like I am like excessively illuminated. But don't get me wrong, I love to look very highlighted and glowy, but not on my whole face. You know what I mean? And I feel like um, this new uh, loose setting powder is giving me that type of finish and it's not my favorite but I feel like you know it gets the job done so now that I'm done with my complexion I'm going to set my whole face using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray which is my absolute go-to when I want my makeup to stay on and be really nicely sealed in just gonna give it a good shake so I went ahead and set my face and finished doing my lip and the bottom lash line and overall I feel like it has a very beautiful super glowy finish. I think that this is a product for somebody that loves to look really glowy and radiant without much effort because they tell you this is the glow version of the loose setting powder and when they say glow they mean glow. <laughs> They're here to give you the glow you want. I would also say this is a great product for somebody who is looking for a more natural highlight. Um, you can definitely get a very natural glowy thing happening with just a little bit of this product um, or even with two layers like you saw, you can really build a highlight with this loose setting powder. And if you ask me if I like this powder, I would say yes, I do like this powder. I would use it for a special occasion or maybe I would use it mostly during the summertime when I want to look really nice and glowy. But on a day-to-day -day basis, 
Honestly, I feel like I would probably stick to my Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder because it's not as matte as the original Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. But that's just my opinion. I do feel like they did a really great job with this formulation. Like it doesn't have chunky glitter. Um, I feel like the sheen is just right. And I would probably use this more for special occasions or during the summertime. I also want to talk about a really big concern that I have been hearing from the whole beauty community regarding this particular product. And that is whether or not it has flashback. And I don't feel like it has any flashback. I feel like it's just very, um, luminous. I would definitely say that my skin does look very healthy and it doesn't make me look like the Tin Men or anything like that. It's just healthy, glow from within, so really pretty, no flashbacks. So that does it for this review video. Thank you so much for joining me and watching all the way up until the end. If you like this video and found some value from it, please make sure to drop me a like. And also don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.